Hi, my name is Grant Ingersoll. I'm the CTO of LucidWorks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use LucidWorks Fusion to ingest data and send you an alert or a notification anytime your search application encounters certain conditions in the data, like the presence of a keyword or a certain user action. Recently added to Fusion 1.4, our new alerting and messaging capabilities enable complex notification scenarios to be implemented using Fusion's integrated pipelines. We also expose a number of APIs that allow you to send and schedule messages so that you can easily integrate our messaging capabilities into your application. For instance, you can use various triggers like document properties, regular expressions, if-then conditions, database values, and even solar results to send email or Slack messages, or to simply log a message to the system logging. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to set up a crawl of my favorite website, lucidworks.com, and set an index pipeline notification anytime a regular expression is matched on a page. I'm also going to set up a query pipeline notification anytime a search for the word signal is performed by a user. Okay, let's get started by first logging into Fusion and then creating a collection where we can capture this content. Associated with that collection, we'll also set up a web-based data source using our ANDA web crawler. With the basic housekeeping set up, let's dig in and take a look at what it takes to set up an indexing pipeline for alerting. We'll start by editing an existing indexing pipeline and add the set property stage to it. We'll then take and add in the logging stage here in a minute. To get started, we're going to fill out a few of the required conditions on the stage, like what source fields we want to analyze for matches, as well as the output results that we want in case there is a match. So in this particular case we're going to output onto the document the flag mentions signals anytime the document contains the word signal. We'll do that by adding a regular expression. I won't go into the details of it here but suffice it to say it goes through and looks for any places where the word signal either with a capital S or an underscore S occur. We then choose the output type we want for this particular property. It can either be on the document itself or in the content. To see how all this works, let's use our, the index preview capabilities built into Fusion. And we'll do that by setting up a few dummy documents that just have the word signals in the title field or in the content field per the set property values that we just configured earlier. As you can see, the flag that we set in the set properties output key is now present on the document since the regular expression matches against both of those documents. Next, let's do the actual work of logging the message. In this particular case, I'm going to use the log a message stage although I could use the Slack stage or the SMTP stage if I had set up and configured those ahead of time. So what we need to do now is check to see whether that flag is set on the document. I can do that by leveraging the conditional script option. Next, I'm going to add in a few other bits of information about who the to and from uh, that I want to send this message to, as well as fill out some template information. The to and from in the case of logging is simply just output strings that go to the logs, but if I was using Slack or SMTP, I could actually specify users. The templates, as you see, have variable substitution capabilities built in so that you can refer to actual values on the document or in the query as part of the message. So in this particular case, I set up to log the document ID and various other information.
Next, let's add the query pipeline stage that I mentioned at the beginning of this. In this case, I'm going to use just the log a message because there's no properties I need to set here. I just need to check whether a query matches the condition that I want it to match. So I'm going to use again the conditional script capabilities of a stage and simply check the query is exactly equal to a signal. Now since that's a JavaScript box there, I can actually add in any other kinds of JavaScript that I want to run as long as it evaluates to a true false condition. Just like on the document indexing side, I'm going to set up also various other templates. This time, however, I'm going to use the properties of the query request as part of the template output. So in this particular case, the uh, less than sign Q and, and then greater than sign as a means of saying I want to output the query. And then I'm going to choose what level of logs, uh, logging level I want, and then go and actually execute this by doing a search against my index. Now that we have the pipeline set up on both the indexing and query side, let's actually do some real work by kicking off our crawl and then monitoring the results of that. Now that's, that's running, I can go and actually look at the logs if I wanted to, to see if any of the messages that I've set up in my configuration are actually occurring as part of the logs as we crawl the system. But you know what? Fusion has built in log search, so why don't we instead just go use our default Fusion search capabilities to search our logs. And in this particular case, what I'm going to do is go through and search for in the message, the, bot, the, the message that's being logged, the mention of the word grant, just to see and highlight that indeed all of those messages that I set up at query time and indexing time are in fact in the logs and I can go through and find them as part of the built-in search application in Fusion. So there you have it. In less than 10 minutes you've been able to set up a collection, set up a web crawl, and actually detect whether certain keywords, in this case the word signal, occurs on any of those pages on, on that website. We've also set up alerts for any time a user mentions the word signal in their query. As you can see, this is very easy to get up and running. If you want to explore more, I encourage you to go to lucidworks.com and download Fusion, as well as check out our documentation at http docs.lucidworks.com. Thank you.